Greetings. This is a quick one. So, an NBA player called Enos Cantor, who I would like to call Enos the P is silent, Cantor on the outskirts. You made some comments. You may never see this video, but for people in the sports world or who know of certain social commentary and statements, you know, they will recognize what I'm talking about. But Enos Cantor went ahead and said that Michael Jordan didn't do anything for black people. Then he went on and spoke about LeBron James and mentioned that their shoe profits are more important than helping black people. And they use sweatshops. Everybody know that, you know, these um these businesses, you know, they have their their factories or you know, it's outsourced to countries that pay less for labor, so on and so forth. But when I heard this, I was kind of surprised because Enos Cantor is from Switzerland, I think, or Germany. But the irony is Switzerland, I think, yeah. The irony is Switzerland did not colonize, you know, they're in that region of Italy, France, Germany, but then they profited from colonization, ironically, because they weren't competing with these other um, colonizers. and. You know, when these colonizers were maintaining their colonization, that was an expense. Switzerland did not have to burden that. So they, they profited and benefited from colonization, even more so than many countries. You see, what I notice with a lot of people is this passive aggressiveness they they have an opinion yes everybody's has a right to an opinion but they begin to throw other people under the bus as opposed to pointing the finger at more organizations or people who have benefited from oppression and slavery and colonization. They would never go that far. So Enos, the P is silent. Sometimes money is not the way to help. For instance, a cracker the other day asked me for some money. And I have given monies in the past to homeless people and you know, a couple, some change here or there. But, you know, sometimes we're in a different state of mind. And what I told him is, I don't think that any amount of money could help him. I explained to him that this is about the mind and the soul. And certain things had to be addressed. Because ironically, I make money. You know, but... But I always feel the need that I need more money. So in his situation, to ask me for what he asked for, I realized that that is no money. He's just not a productive, or he's not in a period of productivity. So for you to mention Michael Jordan, which in, I don't have to speak up for no man, but I notice in the media what people do. You know? to bring their point across. They're passive aggressive. They work in the psyche. They try to garner attention from certain people who are either one-sided 
or simply don't get it. Michael Jordan inspired many people in many avenues of life, inspired them to be great, inspired them to be competitive, inspired their drive and their outlook on success to push forward. You see, sometimes it is not about helping in the way that you think because you know, something that you could possibly do is why don't you help? Do you think that black people should only be helped by black people? Do you understand that many countries are wealthy, utterly wealthy because of the oppression of another people? You know, I realize that you are the type of person who should shut up and dribble. You have no depth. And I even wonder if any of your teammates have addressed you. I notice there's a lot of throwing under the bus because of envy and jealousy. But I notice the fingers being pointed at certain tribes and certain ethnic groups and certain races. Before you mention anything, you should go help. Before you speak on anyone who is not of your origin, you should go to your own people and tell them to repent and atone and give back because they were a part of the oppression. They are a part of the post-traumatic, the trauma. Yes, your people. You know what's funny? In a deeper history than what is presented, colored tribes governed and ruled Europe. Now we know, you know, that the first civilizations came about from certain people. And it's not to make anybody feel bad. That is just a fact and a reality. You know, we talk about the sciences, we talk about the arts, these things came from a place but there's a little cloud because certain other races began to develop and once they were taught even how to prepare food even how to adapt certain types of hygiene you know certain types of humility when they began to understand and see the benefits of these things, something happened. You know, envy is a, is a funny thing. And as time goes on, a particular race was put at the bottom and other races were put at the top. So, You made such a general statement. Michael Jordan didn't do anything for black people. And you said that out for the world to hear. That is a disgrace. That shows the level of your intelligence. You think that there's only one way to skin a cat. Your girlfriend must, must hate you. But she'll keep you around for the money. But my brother, there's more than one way to skin a cat. That is why life is exciting. There are many roads to success. You know? There are few people out there, just like us, who they put things out into the universe and they, 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 they get the attention. They listen, people listen to them. You know? At first, I felt like 
you know sometimes i like to group you guys into but there's a sadness inside of many of us for whatever reason it could be that we are highly intelligent and we overthink it could be that we are not intelligent and we try to think too much again but seems like MJ who I'm not ashamed to say my favorite player I think he's the GOAT you know but even the situation with Scotty Pippen I realize really and truly when you are at the top it's a it's a tough place to be you know there's a lot of people who are delusional Mr. Pippen said that he is as good as Michael Jordan and I came to realize that this is the world that we live in. People do not want to deal with reality. You know. Scotty Pippen probably thinks he's as good looking as Michael Jordan. That is how delusional. This is to show you that there's something deeper than just saying I'm better than someone or I am on the same level as someone. It is the actual jealousy and hatred and envy. You know, they despise another person being blessed. You know, but if we look deep inside, we'll realize that we are all blessed. LeBron James has done a lot Many people have done a lot, some behind the scenes. To say that MJ didn't do anything for black people means that he didn't do anything for his family, for his friends, the people in the organization that he played for. It is a general misguided and uninformative type of analysis. It is disrespectful. And I know that we all have an opinion. But some opinion should be flushed down the toilet. You know, I'm a 70s baby. I've watched ball for many years. Yes, you're in the league, but I think that you're a bum. I guess I'm not attracted to players like you. I think you're a scrub. Doesn't matter to me that you may contribute in some way to your team with energy or whatever the case may be. But because I played the game and I've been around people who have played the game, remember everybody can't make it to the NBA. Remember there's politics and everything. I think that you are a scrub. You know? And that is more accurate than you saying that Michael Jordan and LeBron James have not and do not do anything for black people. I think that they both do have done things and I think that they have done things for all races. Now what you have to do is go back to the drawing board and see what you can do. Not just for black people, but for all people, my brother. One last thing I would like to say. I do not listen to Don Lem Lemon, but I guess he's been in the, he's been trending for a little bit. And you know, these people, many people are presented to us daily, you know, and I think that these people think that they're exempt, but they're able to cast judgment on many others. But Don Lemon claimed that, I guess the white man, once again, generally speaking, is dangerous. But you know what's more dangerous? Do you know what's more dangerous? Even more than somebody who's been traumatized, who has been reborn again into a black devil. What's more dangerous is an Oreo cookie. I think that's the most dangerous. I think a person who is fake is more of a danger than anybody else. That is what I think. You know? But anyway, to all the lovely people out there in the world, in the universe, whoever gets to see this, 
love and honor and respect. Remember, one life to live. Every breath of life is the future. Precise increments to show how slow growth can be. Yes, one step at a time. Blessed love.